what's up, Zach King here with a review for the FX Factory Pro. I'm going to be going over this third party filter and FX Factory is a great resource for filmmakers and I have really enjoyed their products. Here's the website, noiseindustries.com. FX Factory is it's actually like the Apple Store where they host a lot of music and you can go download the music you like and the different plugins in this case so it's an actual application you can download right here on their website it's free and as you can see it supports Final Cut Motion, Final Cut Express and Adobe After Effects so I'm gonna open Effects Factory here it is and Effects Factory Pro here's the library kinda like the iTunes Store I was telling you about they host a lot of different third-party filters so let's go here and we can look at uh, something by Boinks come down and look at the got some cool 3D flip titles and stuff and so I believe all these have a 15-day trial. Uh, some of them might give watermarks. But if you're interested, you would download this software, this platform here. And it automatically ties in with Final Cut, Motion, After Effects, and Express. But I'm reviewing the FX Factory Pro filters. There's 163 of them. It says right here. And I can just filter through here and actually look at the library of different effects that they have. And it's, it's great because they have a lot of color correction stuff. So if I go to this color accent, what I can do is read about it, it tells me how to use it, and um, the different variations I can do with the properties. I found that it's a very visual package of software, so it's really nice that way, and I can see the actual clips and the before and after kind of things, and I really like that. So to explain a third-party filter, it's basically something that works within Final Cut in the Effects tab. So if I come in here, under video transitions where I am now there's a lot of different effects factory pro transitions and so I could use these and drag these anywhere between clips between text under video filters you're gonna see effects factory pro and so I can come down to these various filters they have stuff for color correction stylize anything here with effects factory pro is fair game for me to use right here I'm gonna show you some color correction here here's the beginning shot slow motion of a game dodgeball so what I want to do is make this a little more epic because it's slow motion it would have dramatic music or something crazy and so what I want to do is go to the color correction tab I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look for the bleach bypass it's actually very similar to the film effect look a little different it has a lot more contrast in here so I could change this up I'm actually going to leave it very close to 100 and if I have any questions about the effect, I can click this. Here's an explanation of everything. It tells you how to use it. And on the side is actually a list of other ones. And it's great because you actually can click here if you see something else that looks interesting instead of going over here and finding it. Now I will say out of the 163 effects and filters they have here, some of them seem useless to me and some of the transitions I would never use. Here's one though that was pretty cool. I like the cartoon look. If you ever have to do this for a client, you know, cartoons, doing that in post can be pretty difficult sometimes, but here it's pretty easy. Dunked. Here's the original. And this is one of the comic book filters. I've, I've tried so many of these. A lot of people send them to me, and this one is actually pretty nice because it actually does a comic book justice. I mean, obviously it's video, and you can only do so good with a comic book effect in video, but this is pretty sweet. A lot of these filters in the color correction folder they have is really just fun to use. Bleach bypass, a little dark, right? Okay, so we can bring out the amount and the mix. And then I'll probably want to change the vibrance here. So I'll just hit this, and yeah, you can add multiple filters. Move the amount up. So we have both the bleach bypass and the vibrance. A little choppy it needs to be rendered out and you can see there's actually some blur on my footage here with this shadow kind of looks like a vignette so I could come down and I'm gonna actually add a vignette as you can see it gets darker so I'm gonna adjust this vignette nice moving down okay and it's really cool you can also change your presets classic look color burn it's kinda cool and there's even a better one so I'm gonna keep it on green highlight 
You can spend so much time on the trial if you just download that. The two favorite folders if you're going to download the trial and look at is the color correction and stylize. Then the glow. We have some cool stuff for text too because in Final Cut you don't have a nice glow for text. What I can do is pull up the strength and you're going to see I'm actually going to do some keyframing. I can start with the strength really up high. I'm going to hit strength keyframe. I come in, keyframe this, pull the strength down, all the way down. And we have still a slight glow left because of the radius. There's a little effect. And I, I love this text glow. That's one of the cool text effects. You can see if there's an effect for text, it'll say it right here. You can also add stylized filters to text. Here's a light rays one they have, and you can animate and keyframe this one too. I've been doing something kind of like that, or just a light rays effect. Let me jump to motion and show you how it's compatible there too. Now, here in motion, I'm going to create a text element, finalcutking.com. Okay, open up the HUD here. Let's make the size bigger. Tracking open a little bit. Now that I've got that centered, I'm going to show you how you can use the Effects Factory plugins here. I'm going to go to Filters. I'm going to come down and go to Stylize. And then I'm going to go to LED Lights. Drag this over the text. And here's a, a really wacky effect, right? And it looks all strange. And, and we can adjust the size here to actually end up like that. So what I'm going to do actually is start it somewhere. The cell size here is 42. I'm going to start recording. And then I'm going to pull it in about 60 frames bring the cell size down to 4 and so you can see the animation here it's a kind of a, just a neat effect there I'm gonna go ahead command 8 that and keyframe let's actually make this interpolation an ease in interpolation so so now it's pretty smooth so that's a really cool way you can manipulate these filters. Um, think outside the box with these, and you can come up with some really cool stuff. Also, the Effects Factory comes with generators. And so these generators are here. Effects Factory Pro generators. Some of them are kind of random that, you again, you might not use. But there are some that are cool. Like I, I definitely have used this Halo already in a lens flare, just a really fast one. Some uh, particle emitters too. And again, these are all things you can adjust here in the HUD or in the inspector. And they don't just work with motion, I'm just showing you within motion, they work with Final Cut too. So going to the Effects Factory website so you can see, uh, here's the download link. When I open up the Effects Factory application, it's just really nice and organized. I love the visual here that I can double click actually see, okay, what is this effect? I'm going to have a couple tutorials next week and the following week talking about specific effects and how to do them with these plugins. And I found some really cool combinations and different parameters that I've changed to make some of my own really sweet effects. And I'll be showing that in a few other videos to come. I do love the text filters they have here, the glow. I probably use that more than a hundred times now in different videos. I just I just love the look. It's it's sweet. It's very professional. And I love the color correction filters. Not all of them are going to be applicable to projects, but there's definitely a good handful of like five that I found myself putting in my favorites bin. I will say that I am actually surprised by this price, 400 bucks. That's a very reasonable price for this kind of software. If you are not a big third-party filter person, um, I'll tell you that I am, and this is very reasonable sometimes just like three effects that I'll buy cost 400 bucks so this is a great price and you might be wondering do I really need this for my videos well I'll say if you are doing video for a living this is definitely something you're gonna wanna look into if you're more of a hobbyist you know this might not be the package for you because 400 bucks could be expensive for you but again you are in the video hobby and 400 bucks really isn't that much compared to a lot of other filmmaking tools but it's very professional and uh, what I love about this is they give you the download, they're very open, they just say, hey, here's what we have. If you don't like it, don't buy it, but if you like it, you can try it out for 15 days and use it in your videos, and then when it's over, buy it. And it's great because they have a whole other store of like tons of other stuff, and they also give freebies, so you know, you'll get something out of the download at least. And if you like it, you like it. So I just wanted to present that to you filmmakers out there. Effects Factory Pro 2.5 is what I'm showing you. 
The website you can find it at is noiseindustries.com. I also have some links on my website, and I'll be doing tutorials for these in the next coming weeks. So look forward to those. I'm going to show you some sweet effects. But I'm signing off. Zach King here, thefinalcutteam.com. Follow me on Facebook.